of other room for rent. You must be Frank. Come in, I was waiting for you. Ever since my late husband died, I've been looking for someone to rent the room to. Yeah, I saw the outside. Uh, looks like you could use a man around here. Yes, the right man could do wonders. Come this way. As I mentioned on the phone, you'll have kitchen privileges. But I don't want any loud radios or records or that sort of thing. Right. This is it. You look around, see if you like it, then we can talk. Thanks. Excuse me a moment. I have something cooking. Coach. What for? I think I've located the cake. No kidding. Where? The house on Bay Street. How'd you find it? Well, we know from the manifest that the cake was sold to a Peter Simmons. Now, I managed to get through to the Hall of Records, and the only Peter Simmons died a few years ago, and then his widow, Marie, moved out shortly afterwards. I tracked her down, went out to the house. There's a sign on the lawn saying, Room to Rent. Oh, so I take it I'm renting a room now. Exactly. I'll be your uncle. Mickey can be your sister. Well, I can't even rent a room on my own? Not when we're up against a cape that has some kind of a curse on it. Oh, I'm sorry, forgive me. No. No, that's quite all right. That was my late husband's cape. I've been looking for the right man. A man who could... Oh, uh, I've never had much luck with women. Oh, but you look so handsome in it. I've always believed that the man who could wear that cape would be the man I'd want to share my life with. So have you been able to determine what the cape does? Oh, not very much. Except that when a man wears it, it makes him irresistible to women. What's so dangerous about that? <laughs> yeah, not very much. No, it's getting it out of the hands of Mrs. Simmons that might prove dangerous. I thought you said her husband was dead. He is. Well, then what good would the cape be to her now? I guess we're going to find out, Mickey. Now, you and I, through eternity, will be bound. For with this cape, immortality is found. And with this clasp, we can travel through time. Just a drop of your precious blood mixed together with mine. Be ready for anything. If she's got it, I'm sure she won't want to part with it. But first, you must become one of us.
cape! Get the cape! Don't let it go. Get away from him! Becky! Hurry, Ryan! I'm trying! I'm trying! March 12th, 1875. That'll be tuppence, mate. Will a quarter do? A quarter? Listen, you've got the tuppence or not? Please, foreigners. Read all about it, read all about it. Queen Scott sinks off the coast of Scotland. Read all about it, read the Herald. Queen Scott sinks off the coast of Scotland. Read all about it, read the Herald. Read the Herald. Would you good people who need any assistance? Uh, Thanks, I'm glad you say so myself. Uh, you seem to be in great disheveled. Well, we've come a long way. Ah, uh, I understand you now. You would be the strolling players from the playhouse. Uh, I'm afraid we're a bit stranger than that. We're from the States. States? America. America, indeed, and that is one great journey. I didn't know a steamer was arriving until midweek next. Well, we didn't come by boat. You didn't? Oh, then now in God's name, did you come here then? You might say we flew. Flew? It's a long story. A story that's good and long is something that I fancy. I'm a bit of a writer myself. My name's Abraham. And this is my wife, Caitlin. How'd you do? We're only freshly married. Well, I'm Ryan, and, and this is my cousin, Mickey. Mickey and Ryan. Sounds like good Irish names to me. You wouldn't, uh, perchance know a place we might be able to stay. Oh, what class of establishment would you be looking for? Cheap, real cheap. We don't have any money. Well, we have just the place for you then. Have we not, my love? Where? Oh, where else? But our own sweet place. Come along. Come along, we'll put you up. Ah. Gotta help me. How? Come with me. I need 
need you. Forgive me. Forgive the mess the place is in. Oh, I'll take that. Oh, thanks. Don't worry about it. You should see our place. We only moved in together after we were married. Didn't we, my love? Which is a little over a month. I can tell it better than that. 36 days, 17 hours, and 27 minutes, to be exact. You guys didn't live together before you got married? Heaven forbid. I never heard the likes of that. And do they do such things in America? Well, sometimes couples live together before they get married. Uh, sort of like a test. They do have some strange customs in America. You all right? A test of what? A uh, test to see whether or not they're compatible. Ah, I did not need a test. I knew from the moment I saw her. I loved her and wanted her to be my bride. Of course, there was the small problem of her father being black against me. So, we ran away together. <laughs> we do that too. Mickey? Mickey, what's wrong? Wrong. What's wrong? We have landed in London in 1875, and you're asking me what's wrong? We've been through this kind of stuff before. Not quite like this. How are we going to get out of here? Tell me. How the hell are we going to get out of here? I think the cape has something to do with it. And what cape might that be? A cape this vampire has. <laughs> vampire? Oh, surely you Americans don't believe in such things. Supposing we can't find the cape, what, are we stuck here for the rest of our lives? Well, now, you're more than welcome to stay with us as long as you please. It's very sweet of you, Caitlin, but I don't think that's quite the point. She's had a long day. About a hundred years. Well, if we don't find the cape, then we'll be here forever. 
We can do this tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. Mickey, what's with you? Don't you realize what we're up against? It's a vampire. You don't go chasing a vampire at night. You chase a vampire during the day when he's asleep. I'm not afraid. I know, that's what scares me. Mickey, what's with you? What's happening to you? Nothing's happening to me. Well, I'm not gonna let you go out alone at night in a strange city, let alone century, hunting down something that could be very dangerous. You're not my keeper. I want to go myself. I'll go. Now leave me alone. I'm perfectly capable of taking care of myself. Mickey! You're not going anywhere. Hey, mates, what's all the fuss about? They found your woman's murdered. She was in Avery Court. Murdered? Aye, poked your wound in her neck. Drained all the blood out of her body. I tell you, it's the work of a vampire. Hold on there, friends, and wait for me. My God, this is getting stranger by the minute. Whatever it is that's up with you, be sure to make a good story. Can I go with you? No, no, you stay here. I'll be back to you in a little while. I've a fancy to see what our friends are up to. I love you, Brown. Be careful. find him and find him soon, he's gonna kill again. He needs blood to stay alive. Oh, surely in the name of all that's holy, you don't believe all this vampire rubbish? Look, why do you think he killed her? He didn't take any money or anything. All he siphoned out of her was her blood. Well, I'm beginning to think that the Americans can't be too right in the head. Where's Abe Court? Well, around the corner. Well, come on, I'll show you. Could have been anything. Anybody. There's no such thing as vampires. I wouldn't be the least surprised if the murderer is not hiding in some slipway or hidey hole. You know where these hideouts are? What's the joke in here? Well, don't I spend half my time dodging creditors slipping in and out of them? Wait a minute. If we're going up against a vampire, we're going to need a few things. What things, pray? Some garlic, a steak of sharpened oak. The lantern. I hardly believe it. You have an even wilder imagination than I myself, and I'm supposed to be the writer. Trust me. Let's go get him. Places? Uh, aye, I know of another. Down here is the old warehouse. 
There are plenty of places to hide there. Perfect. Dawn. And what difference does that make? Vampires are at their height of their power at night. When daylight strikes, they become vulnerable. If he's in there, this is the best time to kill him. And by the looks of that, he very well may be. He's in there. Maybe you better stay here. I'm going with you. At least let me lead the way.
I can get you? A drop of hot tea or something? It's no good. She's under his spell. The cape has made him irresistible. Now do you believe me? Oh, I don't know what I believe anymore. In a way, I understand it. I know the love I feel for my Kate. Is there nothing we can do for her? The only thing we can do for her is to get the cape back. And I'm afraid the only way to do that is to kill him. I've got to go after him. I'll go with you. No. This is my fight. No, I'll go with you, I tell you. Please, be careful. Well, you should know me by now, my love. You married a coward. I'm a writer with no taste for a fight. I love you. I love you, too. Keep an eye on her. Make sure she doesn't sneak out. Ready? As ready as I'll ever be. We'll be back before nightfall. Careful. Keep your heart up, my love. We gotta get going. We're gonna run out of daylight. We can't lose. It's two against one. her at last, the woman I want to share eternity with, so beautiful, so fair. I must find her. I must. Ah! What ails you, love? Please tell me where the pain is. I've never heard of such a love. What kind of spell has he over you? Isn't the sunset beautiful? Back by nightfall. They must have stopped at the pub. He's here. I can tell it. Who's here? See, I told you. It was only your imagination. Is it? It's dark already. Oh, 
Oh, my God, Mickey! Come on, let's go! I saw the fearfulest thing. There was a face at the window. I believe you. But there couldn't be. We're two stories up. There's no one. Get out and let me alone! Ah. Ever since you came into our lives, you turned everything upside down. Now look what you've done. You with all your stories about your vampires. Get out and let me alone! Ah. Last, we're together. No, don't be afraid. I won't hurt you. I've waited so long to find you. You love me. I'm the only man you will ever love.
now. You and I, through all eternity, will be bound. But with this cape, immortality is found. And with this clasp, we can travel through time. Just a drop of your precious blood mixed with mine. I've had more than enough of you! Whatever that fair maiden was to you, she is no longer yours. She is mine! Mine! Say your prayers, my young friend, for it will be the last thing you will ever say. Sorry for ever doubting you. We'll never be able to thank you for all you've done and all you've suffered. We gotta go now, back to our own time. I understand. Peace be with you. Mine. I want to go with you. No, no, no. You stay here. No. This is your time. No. Your home. Please. You'll build again. You'll never understand where we come from. What happened to you two? It's a long story. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. At least you got the cape. You wouldn't believe how far we had to go to get it. As I can figure from what you've told me, you seem to be in some area of Whitechapel. Tell me about it. Jack, I told you, all I saw was a lousy basement in an apartment and a few dirty streets in between. OK, tell me about the apartment. What, it was nice, quaint. Yeah? Uh, with just without the modern conveniences, that's all. Yeah, well, then the streets, Ryan. Jack, I'm tired. You know how far I've been today? You know, it's a crying shame. You two guys have been back to another time, another place. Neither one of you are a trained observer, and it's such a waste. We got back the cape. We got the diamond clasp. You call that a waste? No, Mickey, you've got a perfect right to be very proud of what you've done. It's just that so many questions. Oh, uh, I might have something for you two. Uh, you know that friend you met back there, the man by name of... Uh... Abraham. Uh, do you know his second name? I don't think he ever told us. Well, he was a writer, huh? Yeah, that's what he said. What kind of stuff did he write? Well, novels, plays, poems, whatever. He was a writer. Uh, and his wife's name was? Caitlin. Caitlin. She was so beautiful. Well, I have an inkling from what you've told me that he might have written one of the greatest masterpieces of all time, thanks to you two. Abraham? No, I'm serious. Which one was it? Dracula. 
by Bram Stoker. Bram Stoker? What does that have to do with him? Well, if I'm right, Bram is the short form for his name, Abraham. This could be anybody. Yes, I know, Ryan. Read the inscription. <laughs> 